Here I am at the Parliament of the Slovak Republic. It's 30 years of independence. And this is the monument to Alexander Dubček, a great, um, he was a socialist obviously, but he was a reformer. We can always remember here at this important monument, the crimes of the Soviet Union. There was the Prague Spring, also here in Czechoslovakia at that time. And of course, what the Russians did do, they created one of the biggest uh, crises of the Cold War. And they were destroying uh, the uh, Prague Spring, the Czechoslovakia. They invaded it, actually, their own proxy, because it has deviated kind of socialist views. <laughs> you have to imagine how the Soviet Union was structured, because many people say, oh, we are in the biggest crisis uh, since the Second World War, and today in 2022. But let's not forget, there was the Cuban Missile Crisis, and there was the Berlin Uprising, and there was, of course, the Suez Crisis, and uh, there was, of course, uh, the Prague uh, invasion, the Czechoslo invasion of the Czech Republic, and, and of the Czechoslovak Republic. And it was the big crime of a century to do this um, from the side of the Soviet Union. It was always an evil empire. <laughs> And it has now proven in 2022 that also the successor of uh, that uh, evil empire is the evil empire part two, the Russian Federation under Putin, where they are ready to invade for so-called denazification uh, Ukraine. And you see, they are repeating the pattern. They always think that armed invasion against a probably nation is something uh, they uh, can uh, and should do. They will fail in 2022. They ultimately have failed also in 68 uh, when I was born. But sadly enough, it took many, many years uh, to have freedom of Slovakia. Today at 30, we can celebrate everything ultimately turned out well. Why? Because we were able to starve the evil empire uh, with uh, not buying or at least reducing the energy prices because that was, was ultimately uh, has uh, brought the Soviet Union down and the Saudi Arabians uh, oil glut bringing the oil price to 10 euro that has ultimately deprived the Soviet Union of the resources which the pieces from Central Europe, Germany and Austria have uh, massively sent towards the Soviet Union from the year 68. Let's never forget, it's also the year where the Austrians started uh, the energy treason with uh, the Soviet Union that allowed the Soviet Union all these resources uh, to feed the rich customers uh, with their cheap energy, cheap for them and expensive for us and ultimately very expensive for the victims of the Soviet Union worldwide, which were then basically killed with tanks uh, funded by Austrian and German energy consumers. But uh, Brandt and Kreisky found that a cool deal and they sacrificed Czechoslovakia and they funded the invasion with uh, the energy consumer transfers. And so it was. Again, it's the same later in the 2000s and 2010s with Putin. We are buying the energy. He can suppress and annex countries and regions and he can wage his global expansionary goals and revision his goals with our money. But today the German government has announced that they have zero coal, gas and uh, oil import in 2023 from Russia. And we should achieve that all over the European Union by the end of 2023. And then the second evil empire will fall deprived of our energy uh, imports. They will have no money to wage war. They will break up. And there will be new Slovakias and new Kosovos and new Croatias created out of the evil empire. And there will be 36 new countries like the Slovak Republic, like Kosovo, like Croatia, like Bosnia. Some of them will work, they will be complicated. Some of them will be very big success as Slovakia. Some of them, there will be civil war, there will be border wars. It will be complicated, yes, but it will be ultimately much better than uh, the evil empire east of the European Union and NATO, which will be always a big disaster and a threat, like a gigantic sledgehammer banging against us in the east. And so Russia must be dismantled for their crimes against Czechoslovakia in, and against Hungary and against uh, everybody else as a Soviet Union and now against Ukraine and all of us as the Russian Empire. 
So remember the victims uh, and the heroes of the past and let's prepare for the challenges ahead. First the victory of Ukraine and secondly the dismantlement of Russia and the emergence of 36 new states post-Russia. Much better states, much better countries and a much freer and a much more prosperous world to come. Thanks a lot, all the best and celebrate Slovakia's success. And never forget the crimes of the Soviet Union. Bye.